Good morning. Good to see you for our daily encouragement. Hope you're having a happy Monday. Uh, today we are, are look, continuing our study on the resurrection appearances of Jesus. And we are in John chapter 21. And in John 21, we have Jesus appearing for the third time to the disciples. The first time took place when they were behind locked doors, absent Thomas. Uh, the second time Jesus appears is a week later when Thomas is with the disciples. And now we have Jesus appearing to the disciples while they're near the Sea of Galilee. Now they had been instructed to go that way. If you remember, the angel told the women to go to Galilee and that Jesus would meet them there. And so they're in Galilee and they happen upon what was their mode of profession, at least for many of them, uh, which was fishing. And so they're there in the Sea of Galilee and Peter says, I'm going fishing. Who wants to go with me? And so most of the disciples hop in the boat and they go fishing. Well, Jesus appears on the shore, only they don't recognize him. And, and Jesus tells them to throw the net on the right side of the boat. Well, as soon as they do, they begin to reel in a catch so large they can't even pull it into the boat. Uh, and at that moment, Peter remembers this taking place at another point in his life. And he knows exactly who that man on the side of the shore is. You see, for Peter, his mind goes all the way back to Luke chapter 5, which is a story of Jesus' call of the disciples. And we find in, in Luke chapter 5 that Jesus is preaching, and uh, as he's preaching, the soon-to-be disciples come in from a night of fishing, an unsuccessful night of fishing. Uh, Jesus calls, steps onto their boat so that he can preach, and as the crowd was pressing in on him, and and as he begins to share with the crowd, he finally turns when he's done to Peter and tells him to go out and to cast their nets into deeper waters. And, and of course, Peter says, you know, we've been fishing all night and now we want to do this. Uh, but instead, uh, he goes reluctantly, but he goes. Well, they toss their net into the deeper water and they reel in such a large catch um, that the nets nearly burst. And if you remember, as Peter was trying to pull the nets in, um, he has this revelation uh, about Jesus. And he says, forgive me, Lord, for I'm a sinner. Uh, which just sounds like a strange thing for a fisherman to say in light of having such a successful catch. But Peter begins to recognize there's something about this one. He has the same kind of reverence here as we fast forward again to John 21. As he strains again at the net, as he realizes as Jesus, Peter, overcome with emotion, dives into the water, leaves the other guys attending the net, dives into the water and goes to be present with Jesus. Well, it's a powerful scene. And we find that by the time Peter and the disciples get to the shore side, that, that Jesus is making a fire, um, specifically a charcoal fire. The only other time this is mentioned is actually uh, when Peter was warming his hands by a charcoal fire the night he denied Jesus. Uh, and so Jesus meets them there in that place and they share fish together. And it's this beautiful scene uh, in which the disciples and Jesus share fellowship and the breaking of bread once again. But he meets them there on the Sea of Galilee. And I find this is so incredible because we don't really know whether or not Peter was just going out to fish just to fish or perhaps that the disciples were beginning to move back into their, their old life. Perhaps imagining this chapter with Jesus has now closed or so going back to life as we've known it. But Jesus meeting, there on the sea, meeting them on the Sea of Galilee has a very specific message. And Jesus, as they as reel in the catch, reminds them that, look, you are to be fishers of men, not just fishermen. That was the message in Luke chapter 5. After they reeled in the catch, you are to be fishers of men. That's the life Jesus invited them to. And this is a life he's reminding them of here in John 21. You've got bigger purpose. Don't forget. You know, Jesus, we see, is the risen Christ. Uh, time and time again connects the disciples with the purpose he had been preparing them for throughout their ministry. And so I want us to consider our purpose and what Christ has called us to do. In light of, 
of the gifts he's given us and a light of where we've been, where we've been placed in our life. What does it look like for you to be a fisher of people? Uh, let's share some prayer together. Jesus, we are grateful that you have called us uh, and given us a sense of purpose. Uh, we know that we're called to be more than fishermen, whatever that is for us. We're called to be that which seeks out um, people for the kingdom. And so we pray that you would give us, fill us with that purpose and the power to live into it, all for your glory. Amen. Thank you for joining us today.